Hi, my name is Philip Bloom and welcome to CVP TV's coverage of IBC 2011. This is the Sony F65 which was unveiled at NAB earlier this year. And here at IBC, we've actually got the pricing and the pricing is actually really surprising. It's coming way under everybody's expectations and I'm sure a lot of that is to do with the Red Epic and that's affordability. We're looking at £60,000 plus VAT for the camera, colour viewfinder and the SR recording, which is astonishing. There is a more expensive package with a mechanical rotary shutter, which is what this one has here, which eliminates any rolling shutter artifacts and has a few other bits and pieces. But the pricing is just astonishing. CVP are the first European dealer authorised to sell this camera and are expecting to get stock in January 2012. Binoculars or camcorder? Well, it's kind of blurred with this because it is a bit of both. They look like binoculars, but essentially it's a 3D camcorder. It records in ABC HD in 3D Full HD. And it's got a 10 times optical zoom, sound, headphone jack, and it also doesn't just take video, it shoots stills, seven megapixels. Now the thing is, people don't know you're shooting video with this, and you can shoot less like paparazzi, more like a pervert. Sony bought out a couple of lenses for the F3. There's this one here, which is Lembda 16 T3 constant aperture. And this one here is an 18 to 252 zoom lens, huge zoom lens. It's around T4 to 6.7. That means when you zoom in to the end of the range, it does drop down to 6.7. And what excites a lot of people, not particularly me, because I'm not a huge fan of servo zooms, is it is a servo zoom. And we have a rocket on top here, which is already with the F3, and it actually does control the zoom. Why would you want a servo zoom? Well, it gives the camera much more of an ENG style operation, and very useful if you're using this sort of camera for live OBs and events. This is the Polcam PSP, which is a revolutionary Polcam system. This one here is three and a half meters long. We can stretch it out to six meters with a DSLR or an AF100 because the payload of the head is up to four kilograms. Fully erect though, with a small camera, we can go to eight meters. Sets up in just 10 minutes. We've got a full robotic head on here. And it packs away into your foam, which goes into a pellet case. Great for flying, great for traveling. If you're after a good monitor, well, these are about as good as you can get. We have the BVM E series, which are very expensive, around 20,000, but they've just introduced a new F series, which to the naked eye looks exactly the same image wise. I mean, you can't see it on your screen because you're not looking at it on an OLED screen, but it's about 8,000 cheaper and it looks pretty comparable. Panasonic made some big announcements here at the show this year, and one of those announcements is about AVC Ultra. So for those people familiar with the P2 system, you know over the last 12 months they've been introducing the AVC Intra compression system. Well next year they're going to introduce the AVC Ultra compression system. It allows you to do iframe and long op. So you've got a choice of bit rates at 25, 50 and 100 megabits. So this will make full studio mastering quality at even lower bit rates than you used to. What I would say to you, if you're looking to do 2K or 1080 50p or even 4K, you need to make sure you keep an eye on this area. This is the new HPX 250EJ from Panasonic. If you're a P2 Legacy user, you've got all those cards, you're upgrading from an HPX 171 or even the HVX 201, this is the camcorder to go for. Large sensors aren't for everybody. There is still a use for third inch chips, especially for a lot of self shooters and for APs with cameras. Some people like it big, some people like it small. <laughs> a small chip is much, much easier to shoot with because you can get things in focus very easily. ABC Intra 100 on this size camera, which is fantastic. 22 time zoom, ND filters, HD SDI, 42 color space. What more could you want?
I wasn't expecting this at IBC this year. This is a very interesting camera indeed from JVC. This is not the HM100, this is the HMQ10. It may look the same, but it's not. The key difference is inside this is a half inch 4K sensor. That's right, a 4K sensor in this tiny package. It records 144 megabits a second on SD cards. It has four slots and it records um, each corner on each of those cards. And then you have a piece of software that actually joins it together. And it is a working camcorder. This footage behind me is actually shot on it. It is a technology demonstration, but uh, don't be surprised if it actually comes to market next year at a very affordable price. Hot news at the new tech stand this year is this. This is the TriCaster 450 Extreme. It's basically a four channel version of the 850. It also has the four channels of ISO recording, simultaneous SD and HD output, as well as real-time HD streaming. You can also use the control surface, the same control surface you have with the 850. This is a very, very, very good product, and you can see now in this 2U form factor, it's ideally suited for, for trucks and for small studios. Are you by? Well, this is, this is the light panel chroma by color. We've got the fader on there, and we can change between daylight and tungsten at the turn of a dial. So if your light source swings both ways, like my crew here, this is the one for you. I'm on the Sackler stands looking at their brand new entry level fluid head system. It's called the ACE. It's got a payload of zero to four kilograms. It is the cheapest one they do. And you know what? It's actually pretty good. And it's about 550 euros. If you're looking for a tripod, your first fluid head tripod, this is a great one to have a look at. It's got a very nice smooth fluid head with three points for the drag control and for the tilt. It can tilt down to 90 degrees and up to about 75. It can take a DSLR, it can take an AF-101. It's a very nice tripod to start off with. It's not obviously as good as the higher end Sacklers, but of course it's much, much cheaper. And that's the key thing for a lot of people. So this is the Matrox MC100. This little box here will allow you to take multiple inputs and give you multiple outputs. It does distribution, so that's one in, two out. It also does up and down conversion, so we can go in HD and come out HD and SD. It does cross conversion, so I can come in 1080, come out 720. It also does conversion from HD SDI to HDMI, okay? So it's one little box that does a lot of tricks in it. To set it up, it's fairly easy. You can either use the menus that you have down the side here, and they are outputted on the HDMI, or you can use the USB socket on the far side and connect it up to a computer. So if you're out on location or in a studio and you need to convert from one source to another or maybe distribute your signal, these are one of the things you should have in your bag. JVC have got another cool toy here. This is, as you can see from the twin lenses, a 3D camcorder, a very small 3D camcorder. What's great about it is it's very cheap, priced at around 1,500 pounds. It's got a lenticular screen so you can see the 3D when you're actually shooting it and it'll make even the most two-dimensional person look 3D. <laughs> this is more of a traditional camcorder but still very, very small. It's got a very fast 1.2 lens on it, five times zoom, also records in 2D, ABC HD if you want to. Very nice, neat 3D solution. Are you a Canon DSLR user with lots of nice Canon lenses and you've bought yourself an F3 or an FS100 or an AF101 and you want to use those lenses on the camera? You can't because you can't control the aperture because of the electronics of the lens. But Mike Tapper from MTF Services, there's Mike. Hours before the show opened, he got his first prototype of the electronic controller for those cameras. And you know what? It works. You can change the iris in one eighth of a stop increments, stop down and open up with this style. It even displays the focal length on the screen. This is a pre-production prototype. It may get smaller, we don't know how much it's gonna be yet, but the key thing is it works and it will work across all different cameras just with a different lens mount. For me, this is very exciting because I've had an AF-101 since the end of last year and I've got an FS-100 and F3 and I have all these great lenses and they really are great lenses and I've just been desperate to use them on these cameras. With this, I'm finally gonna be able to.
That's it from CVP TV's IBC 2011 coverage. Thanks for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it. Been lots of really cool toys to have a look at. If you asked me to pick one toy in particular, which was very interesting, probably that JVC 4K camcorder. Interesting little one, that one. Thanks for watching.